This is part 2 of Pattern Rescaling in Adobe Illustrator. In part 1, I showed you how to rescale your pattern inside of an object. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can save that rescaled version of your pattern for future use. And stick around to the end, because I'm actually going to show you how to save multiple different sizes of that same swatch. So let's get right into it. So in part 1, I ran into a little issue at the end. I had rescaled my pattern on this garment, I liked the new scale, and I wanted to use it on this other garment. But when I filled in the second garment with the original pattern swatch, it of course gave me the original pattern size, which was way too big. So the question arose, how do we save our rescaled versions of our swatches? In order to do that, you'll have to edit the actual pattern swatch, and then save that new edited version. So here's how to do that. Go to the swatches panel, click on the pattern swatch that you want to resize, and drag it out of the swatches panel onto any blank space on your artboard or workspace. Release your mouse. Now when you do that, what you'll get is the workable version of your swatch. So now, if I want to save my pattern swatch in this new rescaled version, I have to make sure that I remember what percentage I resized that pattern to. If you saw part 1 of this video, you'll know that I had rescaled this pattern to 20% of the original size. So what I'm going to do now is select this entire workable version of my swatch and rescale it to the same amount that I did on this garment. Right click to pull up Transform Scale, and this time we're going to make sure we check Objects. And if there's vector artwork in here, you should also check scales, strokes, and effects. You don't need to check pattern in this case. Now here under uniform scale, type in 20%. Preview it if you like by clicking on preview and click OK. All right, so now as you can see, the pattern of the swatch is in the same scale as the scale that I liked in the garment. So the next thing that you have to do is select the whole swatch, drag over it with your selection tool, and drag that whole swatch into the swatches panel. Hover over the swatches panel until you see the new swatch appear. You see? There are two swatches here now with the same pattern. The first one is in the original scale, and the second one that you just made is in the new scale. So let's test this out now. I have two blank boxes here, and I'm going to fill the first one in with the original swatch. Here you can see this is the original pattern size, which was huge. So then let's select the second box and fill it in with the second pattern swatch and see? It's in the smaller rescaled size that I made my pattern. You can compare it to the garment with the rescaled pattern and see that it is in fact the same scale. So we did it. We saved our resized version of our pattern swatch. And now that that's done, I can fill my other garment with that same pattern in that same scale right off the bat without having to rescale everything that I used that pattern on. Cool, right? So here's a helpful tip. When you do this, as you can see, it can be a bit confusing to have both of these swatches here looking the same. So what you can do is change the name on these two swatches to be able to identify them quickly. Just double click on the first swatch to pull up the swatch options menu. And next to swatch name, name your swatch original scale and click OK. Then double click on the second swatch to pull up the swatch options menu again. And next to swatch name, name this swatch rescaled to 20% or something to that effect, and click OK. Then, when you're using your swatch later on, you can just hover over the swatch to see which one is which so that you don't choose the wrong one. So coming up, I'm going to show you how to save multiple different sizes of your pattern swatch too, like I mentioned. But real quick, if you're finding this content useful, please hit the like button, and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. OK, so here goes. First, fill a box with your original size pattern swatch. Next, right click transform, scale, and preview different sizes of the pattern to see which scales you like and want to save. You can make multiple boxes to have a side-by-side -side comparison. Anytime you find a size that you like, make sure to make a note of what scale that was and write it down. Then once you've decided which sizes you like and want to save, follow the steps that we just did before to save your swatches in the rescaled versions that you like. I'll demonstrate that quickly for you. I've tested out some sizes and I found that I like this pattern at 15%, 35%, and 70%. I want to save all those sizes. So we'll follow the steps we did before and save each new size individually. It won't take long. Make sure to work from the original pattern swatch each time. You'll see what I mean. Drag the original pattern swatch out of the swatches panel. Drag over it to select all of it, transform, and scale to the first size, 15%. And then once you've done that, drag that newly scaled swatch into the swatches panel and double click on the swatch to label it Rescaled 15%. You'll want to do that right away so that you don't get confused. You can delete this artwork here. You don't need it anymore. Next, pull out the original pattern swatch again and repeat these steps, but rescale the swatch to the next size that I want, which is 
drag it into your swatches panel, and right away, label it with the percentage that you made it. And lastly, do the same process, but this time, rescaling the swatch to the last size that I want, which is 70%. So making sure to start with the original pattern swatch, transform, scale, 70%, Click OK, drag that into the swatches panel, and immediately name it Rescaled 70%. Click OK. And now I have all my swatches saved in the resized versions that I wanted to save. You can go ahead and test them out by filling an object in with each one to make sure they're in the scale that you want. And they are. All is good. The last part, of course, is to save your file. But remember, you should be saving your artwork frequently as you use it anyway. So there's one other thing I want to show you. If you want to save these rescaled versions in a special place dedicated for them, I recommend that you get rid of any swatches that you don't need. Then click on the drop down menu in the swatches panel. Go down to save swatches as AI. This will save these swatches as their own library that you can open up later anytime you need it. Make sure that you clearly name the library with the name that you'll be able to identify these swatches by. I'm naming this Peach Blue Floral Print Various Sizes. Click OK, and now you have your rescaled pattern version saved in a special spot. Then, in order to retrieve these swatches later on, you can be on another file. You don't have to be on the same file that you made these on. So, I've opened a new file, and I'll go to my swatches panel and click on the drop down menu and click Open Swatch Library, User Defined Library, and this will pull up any swatch libraries that I've saved. And I want to open my library that I just saved, Peach Blue Floral Print, various sizes. And voila, the library opens and I can now use my swatches in any of the rescaled versions that I saved. Hope that was clear, thanks guys.